your cool science stuff together! And boy, kids, do we got a show for you today. <laughs> today is all about slime! Ooh, gooey, gooey, gooey. And I'd like to introduce my guest, the slimiest friend I know, a snail! <laughs> Hello, little snail! Welcome! Thanks for having me! Happy to be here! We have lots to talk about, but first... Uh, well, um, Kurt? Uh, 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 yes, a uh, little snaily willy Well, on the way over here, I found this mystery box. Ah! What's in the mystery box? What's in there? I don't know! I know what's in the box. I do, I do! Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! I'll give you a hint. It's alive. It's alive? <gasps> It's a monster! Nope. Wait, I'm a monster. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. What do you think, Snail? Sounds good to me. Well, let's go to Dr. Fox for Socratica Kids Question of the Day. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that's, that's the spot. Oh, got all this cat hair on me. But, oh! <laughs> Kids, Socratica Kids Question of the Day is where we answer questions you have about science. That's right, you. You can ask a question by having a grown-up help you type up your question in the comment section below. Be sure to include your name, age, and where you're from. We have a great question today from Tyler, age five, who lives in Denver. Tyler asks, what is slime and why do I like it so much? <laughs> Well, Tyler, slime is very interesting for sure. Slime is a very unusual liquid. We call it a non-Newtonian fluid. When you touch slime slowly, it acts like a liquid. But if you hit it fast, it acts like a solid. What are common liquids and solids? Well, common liquids are water and orange juice. We can see it and feel it, but we can't grip it. Solids are things that are stable, like a bookshelf, a car, and a chair. We can see it, feel it, and grip it. If it's not too bulky, we can use solids to support things. In fact, floors are solid. Sometimes solids melt into liquid, like ice. Ice is hard solid, but it melts into water when hot. Water is a liquid. So, this is why slime is so unique. We can pick up slime like a solid, and it can change shape like a liquid. When holding slime against gravity, it droops down. Solids like floors, bookshelves, and floors stay the same, while liquids can change shape. Now, I'm guessing you like it so much because it's fun to play with. And it's so weird. I like it too. <laughs> to you, Crump. All this talking about what's in the mystery box has really made me hungry. Oh. Hey. Oh. Snail, has anyone ever told you that you look tasty? <laughs> Leonard to the rescue. Crump, don't hey. eat our guests. I wasn't. You were thinking about it. Was not. Was too. Was not. Was too. Was not. <laughs> No, oh, Leonard, don't you have that uh, big word of the day to do? <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, kids, today's big word of the day is mucus. Mucus is a slimy substance released for lubrication and protection. Mammals like humans have mucus in their noses. That's right, kids. Mucus is another word for butter. Yeah, gross. <laughs> it's disgusting. Well, mammals also have mucus in different parts of their bodies, like their intestines. Mucus in the intestines is used to help with digestion. I know it may sound gross, but mucus is very helpful. Back to you, Crump. You better not be eating our guests. Uh, uh, I was not. I was just going to ask her a question. Hey, hey, little snail, can I ask you, why are you so slimy?
noise. <laughs> the bears don't eat me. They let us go go because I haven't been cooked yet. And but, I'm your guest. You look so tasty. Don't do it. No. No, 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 no. All right, all right. Change the subject. This <laughs> mystery box. What's in it? Ah, another mystery box. Yeah, that, that's right. All we know is it's a lie. <gasps> what can it be? Topher, give us another hint. Sure, it lives in the sea. <gasps> it's alive and it lives in the sea. Mm. Is it a great white shark? <laughs> oh, I'm scared. No, a great white shark is too big to fit in that box. Oh, I see. What do you think, Leonard? I was also thinking great white shark. Ah, looks like we need more time on this uh, mystery box. <laughs> so let's see what Charlie has for us today for Science Experiment of the Day! <laughs> it's cargo. This isn't sound appetizing at all! Who would eat such a thing? Poor little slugs. I'll give them a home. Oh, hi kids! <laughs> today we're going to be making homemade slime! And how to make homemade slime? Well, it's quite simple. This is what you're gonna need. You're going to need one blown up! <laughs> also, you're gonna need half a cup of liquid starch. Oh yeah, don't drink it. <laughs> and also you're gonna need half a cup of clear or white glue. Half a cup of water, two bowls, and a spoon. I like little spoons, they're so cute. Also, you could grab some glitter and some food coloring to make your slime pretty. <laughs> it's a very, very easy and fast experiment to make. And if your uh, grown up doesn't want to make a mess, well, tell them it's for science. <laughs> So we're gonna need our ingredients. Whoa, they appeared. Magic. <laughs> now let's make some slime. Now take one bowl and mix in the half a cup of water and half a cup of glue. Really mix it in, guys. Just mix it in. Mix it in, mix it in. Once you got the water and the glue nicely mixed, add glitter and food coloring if you like. It'll make it really pretty and shiny. Isn't that right, universe spinning around? <laughs> okay, now in this bowl, add the half a cup of liquid starch. Plop! <laughs> it makes a swishy noise when you do it. <laughs> and now we're ready to slowly mix the glue and water mixture into the bowl with the liquid starch. Here we go! You can slowly do it. Yeah, nice, nice and mix it. Oh, wow. I like to sing a little song when I mix. It goes like this. Do, 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 do. Sometimes I mix the doo-doos with la-las. La, 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 la. Wow! Look at that! It's fully formed! Look at that! Did you know? Did you know, kids? Slime is an oobleck? That's right, this thing right here is an oobleck. Yeah, oobleck is another term for a substance that acts like a liquid when you pour it, but also acts like a solid when you push it or squeeze it. Ooh, speaking of, of squeezing, you got to really squeeze this slime. When you really squeeze the mixture and, and squeeze it good, that's when you get Oobleck. Hello, Mr. Oobleck. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. The more you play with it, the better the slime becomes. How neat. We did it. Look at that, kids. We did it. We are scientists. Woohoo! Back to you, Crump. <laughs> wow, so cool, Charlie. I love slime. Must eat snail. Must eat snail. No! Don't do it. Or find out what's in the mystery box. <laughs> yes, the box, the box, please. Okay, okay. It's alive and smaller than a great white shark. Is it a shrimp? No. A starfish? No. Great white shark? You already guessed that. One more clue. 
it can make a pearl. <gasps> Ooh! What? A sea animal that makes jewelry? That's right! It can make a pearl that people like to take and turn into jewelry, like a pearl necklace and pearl earrings. Ooh! <laughs> this is making my head hurt! Hey, look over there! A race is about to begin! Ooh! Hello, kids, and welcome to the Sly World Cup! Competing today, we have honey, ketchup, and Ooblack made by Charlie. And they're off! It looks like Honey got a head start. The bees will have to talk to the SRF, the Slime Race Federation, to see if they had any bribes for this one. It looks like Ketchup is second, and Ooblack is oozing on by. Looks like Ketchup is going to need to catch up. <laughs> a little condiment humor here at the Slime World Cup. Honey is buzzing on by to a sweet victory. There's going to be a party in the hive tonight. It looks like Ketchup and Ooblack are head-to-head -head for second place. It looks like Ketchup is now breaking off. That's right, Ketchup is breaking off from itself. Honey is speeding on down the track as fast as it can. It looks like, oh my goodness, the crowd is going wild because Ketchup is now in the lead. Ketchup, I cannot believe this. I've never seen this. Ketchup is the condiment of condiments. I bet Mustard couldn't even beat Ketchup right now because it is winning. Honey has given up and Ooblack has given up because Ketchup is the winner. That's right, Ketchup wins. Ooblack is the loser. Second place, Honey and Ketchup, the bona fide winner of the five world. was amazing. See you next year when we race babies. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> what's in the mystery box? Oh yeah, what's in there? <gasps> Topher, tell us, tell us. Tell us. Okay, it's an oyster. <gasps> Ooh. Hello, my dears. Wow. I am an oyster. I am a bivalve. That means I live in two shells. Hey, I live in a shell too, but my shell has only one part. You know what else you two have in common? You're both delicious. Ah! I want to eat you both. Ah! No, Crop, don't do it. Don't do it, Crop. Out of my way, Leonard. Ah! Ah! Now you're all mine. Quick, Snail, get in the box. Eat in the box! Okay! Quick! I lead! I lead! <laughs> go, mystery box! Go! Oh! 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 No! Oh! Oh! Ouch! My head! Where do they go? Where do they go? <gasps> Spinny! No! Spinny! Don't eat my friend! Huh? Grab each other! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Owie, Leonard! Oh, they're gone! Wait, where'd they go? They left in the mystery box! <gasps> that box is so mysterious! Tell me about it! Well, kids, that's our show! <laughs> thanks for joining us, and a big thanks to our guests, a snail and an oyster! Sorry, Crab tried to eat you! <laughs> Kids, we look forward to having you back for more science fun. Be sure to leave a question you have about science in the comment section below. Enjoy playing with slime, and remember, there's science all around us! <laughs>